Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 42 of 2022, appointing the Shura Council Chairman. According to the decree, Ali Al Saleh was appointed Chairman of the Shura Council. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in the presence of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, received the U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain Stephen Bundy at Safriya Palace. His Majesty the King and the Ambassador reviewed the solid, friendly relations between Bahrain and the U.S., as well as the advanced level reached by their joint cooperation across various fields. His Majesty expressed pride in the historic relations and solid strategic partnership between Bahrain and the U.S. based on understanding, mutual respect, coordination and cooperation to serve mutual interests. His Majesty hailed the active and pivotal role of the U.S. administration in establishing security, stability and enhancing regional and international peace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa emailed all public sector employees to express his pride in the achievements of skilled Bahrainis whose contributions are essential to the kingdom's development. In the email, His Royal Highness invited public sector employees with innovative ideas to participate in FIKRA, the government's innovation competition. He noted that the government is eager to incorporate successful ideas and suggestions into successful programs. The fifth edition of FIKRA provides the opportunity for public sector employees to submit ideas and proposals that benefit government efficiency. The competition is open to all public sector employees and the closing date for entries is on the 27th of December 2022. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, sent cables of congratulations to female Shura members following the issuance of Royal Order 41. Her Royal Highness praised their experiences and high capabilities that qualified them to assume this position and contribute to decision making. She wished them success in serving the kingdom, enriching the legislative work and add to the series of national achievements in line with the aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Dhabiya Palace. The cabinet extended its gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa following the royal decree issued to form the new cabinet. The cabinet highlighted its commitment to ensuring that government work streams reflect the visions of His Majesty the King and the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The cabinet noted the importance of building on the outcomes of the future aspirations workshops to achieve the kingdom's sustainable development goals for the best benefit of the kingdom and its people. The cabinet noted its commitment to its economic, social and government services and in this regard it commended the efforts of the former ministers in achieving the government's goals and wished them success in their future endeavors. It noted the importance of inauguration of Exhibition World Bahrain which was held under the patronage of His Majesty the King and attended by His Royal Highness in establishing Bahrain as a leading hub for global exhibitions and conferences. The cabinet highlighted the great success of Cityscape Bahrain 2022 and Jewelry Arabia 2022, which were the first events held at the Exhibition World Bahrain. The cabinet noted the high turnout at the events, which reflects the continued growth and development of the real estate and commercial sectors. The cabinet congratulated Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the issuance of the Royal Decree appointing members of the SCW in its eighth session and on the occasion of Bahraini Women's Day. The cabinet commended the efforts of the SCW in empowering Bahraini women in various fields. The cabinet congratulated the members of the Shura Council for the royal trust bestowed on them, wishing them success in carrying out their legislative duties. The cabinet also highlighted the government's commitment to continue constructive cooperation with the legislative authority to serve the kingdom and its citizens. Following a review of a memorandum submitted by the Minister of Finance and National Economy regarding the economic recovery plan, the cabinet followed up on the plan's implementation. The memorandum revealed that 20 one out of the 27 programs included in the plan had been completed and that work is underway to complete the implementation of the remaining six programs. The memorandum also showed an increase in many economic indicators. In this regard, the cabinet commended the efforts of the authorities who have achieved these goals. The cabinet also noted the constructive cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities and the role of the private sector in supporting the implementation of their priorities and programs within the economic recovery plan. 
The cabinet congratulated the UAE, its president, government and people on the occasion of the UAE's 51st National Day and wished the Emirates continued progress and prosperity. The cabinet followed up on the passing of a worker worker and the injuries of others in one of a lousy rainwater drainage project and directed the relevant authorities to conduct a detailed investigation to determine the causes of the accident and to take legal measures to ensure that it does not occur again. The cabinet also highlighted the importance of educating workers and employers about occupational safety and health requirements in light of the report submitted by the Minister of Works. The cabinet then approved the following, a memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding a decision to be issued by the Minister of Labor and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the LMRA to support the development of the Kingdom's labor market. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft law approving a cooperation agreement in maritime transport and ports between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of Amman. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a unified framework between the Ministry of Electricity and Water Affairs and government agencies to provide technical support in renewable energy and energy efficiency. And a memorandum regarding the approval of the reports of the Education and Training Quality Authority. The Cabinet then took note of the ministerial reports regarding the outcomes of Scent Arabia, the Perfume Expo, as well as the participation in the 25th meeting of the Information Ministers of the GCC and the visits of foreign delegations to Bahrain in December 2022. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the Royal Trust following the issuance of the Royal Order to appoint the Shura Council members. He praised the care and support of His Majesty the King and affirmed keenness to continue the efforts and responsibilities to achieve the aspirations of His Majesty the King, overcome challenges and make further achievements to benefit the Kingdom and its people. He hailed the cooperation and coordination with the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, praising the follow-up and efforts of His Royal Highness in supporting the legislative authority. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Bar Rashid Zayani, met with members of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs supporting team of the 18th Manama Darala Conference in the presence of a number of senior officials. Dr. Zayani hailed the team's tangible and dedicated efforts in preparing the Manama Dialogue in a manner that benefits the Kingdom's prestigious international reputation under the leadership of His Majesty the King and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He noted that the team's abilities to overcome difficulties and provide a positive atmosphere and the outstanding performance and comprehensive quality quality achieved are proof of the competence of diplomats and the ministry's administrators. The minister commended the efforts of all relevant ministries and official bodies to organize the conference, which aims to strengthen Bahrain's position as an active partner in consolidating peace and security. He noted the professional organizational efforts made by the International Institute for Strategic Studies and its senior executive management, which contributed to achieving the desired goals of organizing the conference. The Capital Municipal Council Chairman and members took the oath before the Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, Wa'al Limbarak. Al Limbarak congratulated the Chairman and the Capital Municipal Council, Saleh Tarada, and the Deputy Chairperson, Khalud Al Ghattan, and all members of the Council on the Royal Trust and wished them success. He affirmed the launch of a new phase of municipal work, which comes as a continuation of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and with the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Minister added that the appointment of the members of the Council of Capital Secretariat reflects the keenness to develop the level of service work in the Kingdom. The Chairman of the Council of Capital Secretariat affirmed keenness to continue building on what has been achieved in the past years and to set plans and goals that would support the development process of the Capital. The Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Dayna, opened the 6th Middle East Maintenance and Reliability Conference with the participation of world experts, engineers and enthusiasts in the field. During his opening speech, Dr. bin Dayna welcomed the participants, noting that the world still needs fossil energy to ensure energy supply, which is an incentive for oil companies to increase oil investments and create new projects. The Minister added that the conference came to meet technological developments and digital transformation in the fields of maintenance reliability and asset management, noting that the event will be the optimal platform to gather regional and international professionals, researchers, service providers and users to explore the latest in digitization. On the sidelines of the conference, the minister inaugurated the accompanying exhibition in which 70 companies from 30 countries participated. 
The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Ramehi, affirmed the importance of the private sector and real estate development companies in strengthening the social housing sector in Bahrain. The minister noted that the government land development rights program represents an opportunity to enhance the partnership between the government and private sectors through the participation of real estate development companies and building housing units. She said that the Urban Planning and Development Authority is keen on preparing the construction requirements in various governorates and facilitates real estate projects for the private sector. The meeting was attended by the board chairman of Bahrain Property Development Association, Araf Hijras, and several members of the association along with senior officials. The Minister of Tourism, Fatma Sarafi, and BTEA CEO Nasr Qaidi participated in the 22nd edition of the International Travel and Tourism Summit in Riyadh. The summit included topics related to tourism sector recovery and enhancing the flexibility of the tourism sector and its ability in facing challenges in order to achieve sustainability. The Minister said she will highlight the Bahraini experience in developing the growth of the tourism sector and showcase its contributions to the national economy, especially after the pandemic. She praised the role of Saudi Arabia in hosting the summit and its role and revitalizing the sector that benefits all the countries of the region, including Bahrain. The Sarafi stressed that the percentage of tourism's contribution to the regional economy and the opportunities available from the sector confirm the importance of international and regional coordination and cooperation and promoting joint action between the countries of the region as the tourism sector is expected to achieve a growth of 7.7% for the countries of the region. She noted the increase in visitors to the Kingdom of Bahrain during the third quarter of 2022 with a rate of more than 30 percent. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhra, toured Manam Sug as part of the efforts to follow up on small businesses' needs. The minister was accompanied by officials, a number of business owners, and members of the BCCI Commercial Markets Committee. He stressed the government's keenness to follow up on all issues related to the commercial sector and revitalize the business environment to spur growth and boost investment. Fakhra praised the efforts of the private sector and the cooperation between business owners and the BCCI Commercial Markets Committee to enhance Manam Sug's business environment affirming its historical status as one of the oldest markets in the region. An opening ceremony was held for the 8th edition of Manama Entrepreneurship Week, which is organized by the Capital Governorate in strategic partnership with Tim Keen under the theme Renaissance and Innovation and features more than 40 workshops and panel discussions presented by over 70 experts and specialists in entrepreneurship from Bahrain and the world. Capital Governor Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa stressed the government's keenness the governor's keenness on adopting initiatives aimed at supporting small and medium-sized enterprises given the significant role in pressing ahead with sustainable development. He said that the ongoing organization of the event seeks to further consolidate the culture of entrepreneurship among the Bahraini youth and motivate them to set up their private projects and expand businesses. Under the patronage of His Excellency uh, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, the capital governor, we are very glad to attend today the event, the opening of Manama Entrepreneurship Week. This is the eighth edition. Uh, the capital governor is very keen to uh, motivate uh, the startups and young SMEs to encourage them to enter the, the entrepreneurship. Uh, especially in the Kingdom of Bahrain, we are witnessing a lot of projects happening within the capital governorate. And uh, this is a very good opportunity to connect and fill the gap between the opportunities available for entrepreneurs and the existing opportunities in the local or international market. We always coordinate and celebrate the Bahrain Manama Week uh, with the capital government. Uh, it is important for entrepreneurs uh, to have a network and uh, to be uh, to start from Bahrain and uh, to be an international entrepreneur. It is important for us or for entrepreneurs and Bahrain Business Women Society to coordinate with the international uh, speakers who are coming to Bahrain and to uh, have partnership in, in businesses worldwide. We are very happy to be here today in the eighth cycle of Manama Entrepreneurship Week. Um, I think it's of high importance to uh, support such events and uh, the participation of the youth in such events for them to gain the experiences and to push towards um, um, the entrepreneurship path and creating more opportunities for them to um, venture into their businesses and so on.